What's up everybody, Bobby here to Geek Guru Geek, definitely Guru, I don't know, joined with my lovely wife Tony. It's been a very long time and um, she doesn't like the Geek Guru stuff anymore. She told me That's not true. she hates this stuff. <laughs> Oh, she's gonna divorce me if I buy, yeah. buy any more amiibo. So uh, it's been some time since we've done the whole amiibo thing and all that. But the reason why I wanted to bring Tony in again is you guys have seen in past videos we're both big Animal Crossing fans. Uh, with Wave Two of the amiibo for Animal Crossing coming out today, I kind of wanted to show them off, open them, discuss them a little bit. We also got some Series Two cards. I kind of wanted to open those and, and see what we got. But um, the main thing is, is this is when we were really amiibo hunting back a year ago, a little over a year ago, we had always discussed Animal Crossing and hoping that they would do Animal Crossing amiibo. And now that they have, like, I'm loving them. Yeah. I think that they're really well done characters. I think they look amazing. Um, a I lot just of like them. yeah, they do. I mean, a lot of attention to detail on them. Just really well done. So. Myself, personally, I, I really like them a lot. And then there's a little bit of Animal Crossing news as well we'll get into and, and all that stuff. So um, so this is the net, the new series that came out. So I bought Celeste today, Blathers, uh, Kicks, and Mr. Rossetti. And um, I mean, I like them. I think they're really, really well done. I think they look sharp if you want to pop in and, and open them. You know, you guys know I do open my Amiibo. I don't keep them locked up as some do and um blathers looks really really good i like blathers a lot um Mr. Rizzetti, you got plenty new. so uh okay so the new ones again are kicks uh blathers celeste and mr rosetti I like Mr. Rossetti. I think he's cool looking. Um, he's got a big nose. Yeah. And you know, I like Kicks. I think Kicks is cool. I think out of Kicks definitely moved to the top of my list of my favorites mm -hmm. so far. Like originally it was probably Tom Nook or KK. But Kicks, there's a lot of detail to him. Really well done. Um, I will show these off in a closer format for you guys. I like blathers too. I like the beak. Yeah. How it, it's made. It, I don't know. It's like a little shiny. Yeah. Blathers is nice. K, I like KK. Digby's good. Or Digby. Digby is good. Um, I like him a lot. He's, he's good. Look, he's good looking character. Tom Nook. I like. The only thing I, I wish that Tom Nook. Like I get that this is the Happy Home Academy. Tom Nook. I wish it was more. Um, when he was in. Yeah. When he had his store. Like Nook's. Tom Nook from Nooks. Or nooking or something. Yeah, that'd be cool. Um, now there is a new Isabel coming. Okay, so in Japan, in the United States, they announced that there is a Wave Three coming, and it's got Cap'n, it's got um, Timmy and Tommy Nookling, um, Rover, Rover, and another Isabel. And the Isabel is a summertime, spring summertime outfit. So it's different than this outfit. Uh, which is cool. It, it, it's pretty awesome. Um, so that's that's pretty much where we are with the. So, what are you? Before we wrap this up real quick, what are you feeling about with these with the with the new Amiibo line? You know, compared to where we were, where we're going, all that stuff. Do you? I mean, you don't really. I haven't talked to you about it in a while. So, what's your feelings with the way Amiibo are now and and the Animal Crossing series and all that stuff. I love the Animal Crossing series. I think it was smart for them to do it because Animal Crossing is like one of their most popular games right now. Mm -hmm. um, I'm hoping that they'll be useful perhaps for an Animal Crossing Wii game. I don't think, <laughs> I don't think it's coming to the Wii if it does. You think it'll be the NX one? It probably, yeah. Well, that's fine. Anything. That's fine. They could do that. Well, they, they, or they could do something for whatever even, their handheld even, portable yeah, is. Yeah, even that. You yeah. know, something. Because, I mean, it would be cool to... And if you, like, use them, they'll unlock something in the yeah. game. I like how they're easier to get now. I feel like if this was before, you would never have had these. This would... Well, we would have... Well, I mean, we would have had them. We would have had them. Because we, we were pretty hardcore. I probably... Hard. 
in the past I would have taken off of work today. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't have worked today in the past. I would have taken the day, camped out, done what I had to do to get these. That would stuff have been like right yeah. online all the time. Yeah, this <laughs> stuff, it, it. It, the pressure is off. Yeah. It feels, it feels like, especially with the Animal Crossing line. Like, it was funny because when I did the pre-order, I pre-ordered these from Best Buy, and the only place I could get them was, or the only way I could get them was to pre-order them for store in-store pickup. So that's fine, no big deal. I'm cool with with in-store pickup and all that. But the our local store was sold out of kicks. So the only place I could pre-order him was 30, 40 miles up the road to get it. So I was like, you know what? It scared me. I thought I'm not going to be able to get them. So I went into Best Buy today, and the first thing I did was went back to the Amiibo section, and there was kicks on the shelf. So I grabbed them, walked up to the counter, I bought him outright, and then I just, um, I'll let the other one cancel itself. It, it's going to take a week before I get the money back or whatever, but whatever. Um, I'm, I'm fine with that. This is, uh, you know, the thing that I'm hoping with a new Animal Crossing game in the future is, I'm hoping that they take what parts of Happy Home Designer there are and yeah. implement it. Happy Home Designer, to me, isn't a complete game. It's not a game that I want to play all the time. Yeah. But the, what, the one thing I do like about it, and I was talking about this a few weeks ago to Holly, um, Halcyon Holly on YouTube, a uh, friend of ours from England. She was on, a, on my podcast, The Geek Cast, a couple weeks ago. And when we started talking for a minute, what I had said in that was, I would love if they kept the Happy Home Academy as a job. The same way you could go work for Brewster in the cafe, mm -hmm. have that where you unlock the Happy Home Academy and you can get a job there. So it's something you could do every now and again and you could import with the cards your favorite characters. Lock them in and be done with it. And that would to me, if because I feel like Happy Home um, Designer is a good concept, but it's not a good follow through for an, a complete game. No. So if they took that section of it and implement it in the new Animal Crossing game, I'd be that would through be the cool. roof. Putting houses where you want them, yeah. the different types of houses, decorating outside. I or mean, decorating inside and all that. that. Like you would do all that stuff for the animal that's moving in and stuff like that would be yeah. awesome. You know, even if it was something where they go, hey, you know, Mr. Mayor, this person is moving in you got to dictate where they go or you tell mm -hmm. them where to go. That would be cool. Um, and then if you decided later on, like, hey, I want to go work at the Happy Home Academy, you could go over there and work. And, and all. I think there's a lot of good things with that game mm -hmm. that more or less, like, opens up us to a lot of cool things. So that's pretty much it. Um, you have anything else? No. So that is all. Thank you guys for watching this video. Uh, if you liked it, please like, share, subscribe if you're not a subscriber. Um, you can follow Tony, Instagram, Twitter, at TWH Tony. Uh, you can follow me, Instagram, Twitter, at The Geek Guru. That is all. Peace, mother. Peace.